Do you ever wonder what happens when the police leave? Crime Scene Cleaners are private companies that handle the cleanup after the police are gone. Spalding Decon is one of the nation's largest cleanup companies handling the aftermath of homicides, suicides, decompositions, hoarding, and much more. These are our stories. Well, welcome to Pennsylvania. We've got a unique and wonderful hoarding job today. A gentleman passed on, he was old, but he collected a lot of stuff and it got pretty messy. Most of the stuff that we're pulling out, at least the stuff that we're throwing away, is at least 30 years old, 40 years old. A real hand grenade. The good news is it's empty. The guy had a lot of guns, but he made his own ammunition and there's a whole ammunition table. There's Scotch whiskey, there's Irish whiskey. And this one, for instance, is from 1964. They're one of those gravity eyeballs. Uh, oh, yeah. you can see the eyes moving in. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> that's huge! Yeah, that is big. Look at those ribs. It's like eyeballs. Oh, that looks like some sort of intestine. Cow? Possibly? Maybe elephant? Uh -oh. oh my god. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to day three. Say hi to your new fans. It's fantastic. What's up, guys? Wow. Hi. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna be watching the comments. I totally, like crazy. I totally liked and subscribed. Okay, so this is day three. That hoarding house. We're gonna knock it out. We're gonna get the upstairs totally cleaned out today. Move down to the, to the second floor. We have to wait and decide what it is that we have to get rid of. There's furniture that has to stay. The powder keg. Oh, literally. Literally a powder keg. All black powder, a whole drum, whole drum of black powder. Holy shit. Sitting in a house, in a basement, underneath. <laughs> His face is rotted. What is that? It's a pheasant. Oh, wow. Or, or wait, is it? Oh, wait, what's that down there? A Concord grape. Oh. Yeah, how, how the hell did you know that? <laughs> <laughs> we need to take you to uh, eyes. I got good eyes. some AA if you could spot that from a mile away. Hey, if we're keeping tabs, I found the will and I found uh, the yearbook with the diploma. What is this? Oh, uh, mistletoe. But what is the machine? It's an oven. It's an old, old oven. That's cool. Probably one of the first electric ovens that ever existed. That looks like a costume piece from like Robin Hood or something. Yeah, when, when all you get to see was their legs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, rifle barrels. This one's got it. Look at that old fashioned skunk. You see that? It's got these beads. Open the fridge, boy! Right, get the fridge. Probably the same thing. That looks like brandy. It's got a Star David on it. It's kosher. Cherry kosher for Passover. It's the kosher. bottle is Rudolf Jeliner, Czechoslovakia. Right I haven't had a drink in three years, dude. I'm not drinking some 50 year old. What? Oh my god. I don't even want to look. I'm just going to close it. There's got to be something dead in here somewhere. You're absolutely right. It's oh. right here. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. You have a great sniffer. Is it rat right there? <laughs> yeah. That's huge! That is big. Look at those ribs. Get the big Bible and see if we can resurrect it. <laughs> old Fitzgerald, depending on if it's old, very old, or very, very old, they have different kinds. Uh, it can be up into the thousands. So certain bottles of this at auction, which is really how you can only get it anymore. You can't really go to a store and buy that. Uh, but you'll you'll be bidding up to fifteen hundred, two thousand dollars for a bottle that's even half empty. That's pretty cool. This is one of the things that you put aside if you find them. There's Scotch whiskey. There's Irish whiskey. There's bourbons. There's bottles here. Most of them are full, but they have things like tax stamps. And this one, for instance, is from nineteen sixty-four. You can tell that it's been torn, so it's probably been open. That decreases the value of these things, but it still something that somebody would want to purchase at, at an auction. Uh, it doesn't matter how gross the bottle is. Like this one's absolutely awful looking. Uh, just a little bit of soap and water is what they would put on this. Clean it up, make it look as good as they could. Certain bottles of this, the Johnny Walkers, uh, if they have a proof higher than 80, so this one's 86.8, .8, 
They stopped producing that somewhere around the 70s. That would be somewhere around 50 years old for that bottle. And 50 year old whiskey is very, very highly sought, sought after. Companies like uh, Skinner Auction House, they actually have an, an alcohol auction going on right now that you can put bids on. And they have things just like this in there. So certain alcohols will go bad, but whiskey will pretty much stay indefinitely. It'll just evaporate out. I See, this is one of the ones that scare me because you, like, you look at it, and who would want to put that in them? You know? That's dangerous. Someone trying to party. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, this one, uh, I'm not sure what the actual auction price is for this one, but I know that this particular bottle is a very rare bottle. And I know that that one's worth a pretty penny. Drink responsibly. <laughs> they one of those gravity eyeballs. Oh, uh, we don't like that. Look at the hole in its skull. Wait, wait, oh, wait, you yeah. can see the eyes move on the inside. Yeah. Hey, Becky. Creepy doll. You can see the floor now. Yeah, it's insane. Like, this is a huge difference compared to what it was yesterday. Found a bunch of gun boxes, cartridges, projectiles. Whenever you see ones with like the black tips or green tips, they usually mean either it's armor piercing or armor piercing incendiary. So, basically, if it is armor piercing incendiary, I'm not too versed on the tip colors on them. But if that were the case, when you fire this out and it hits its target, there's a secondary primer on the inside here. And when that hits, it crushes it causes uh, a small explosion causing more damage on whatever you're hitting. Like I said, this guy used to reload ammunition. As bad as I would want to, I, I wouldn't fire any of these off because if you fire somebody's ammunition that they loaded and you didn't see how they did the process or how much powder they put in, you could actually damage your gun and break it or hurt yourself because I've seen guns on YouTube explode like from hand loads. It's pretty dangerous. But and guns are dangerous enough. Yeah, <laughs> in the wrong hands. Chinese money. Pretty cool, I've never seen a Chinese coin before. This is probably like the 30th gun case. It's a box for a Ruger Mini 14. It's basically, it's a gun designed after the M1 Garand, or Garand. Oh, like the World War II? Yeah, but it's magazine fed, That's and usually good. in 223 or 556. And then the third Call of Duty. Yeah. This is like Freddy Krueger's boiler room, if he also is a pack rat. Yeah, and for like, like a leather face. It's yeah. gonna pop out of the corner. Seriously. It's hard to find, but if you find them, you'll find them in places like this. It is those old African sculptures that you'll see, the really jet black ones. They're made with a type of wood called gabon ebony, or gabon ebony, I'm not sure how they pronounce it. If you get a big enough piece of it, you could sell it to uh, instrument makers like luthiers. Ebony is special in that it's uh, the only type of wood they standardly use on expensive instruments like uh, like handcrafted violins and handcrafted cellos and things like that. Four foot tall African statue that's that's made prior to 1900. Be wary of opening any boxes, you're gonna unleash some yeah. dead juju. <laughs> I've seen the evil dead way too many times. <laughs> no, no, no Latin, no Latin. Pickle in something. It's like eyeballs. Oh. The kimchi? I don't even know. That looks like some sort of intestine. With wieners. There's wieners in there. Yeah, yeah, he might be right. Cow, possibly, maybe elephant. Mmm, pickled wiener. <laughs> <laughs> Probably tastes awesome. Should we find out? <laughs> Smash the like button if you want me to open this and eat it. <laughs> oh boy. I can see its eyes popping out. What was it? Oh my God, it's jaw. Is that a rat? Yeah, I think that's a rat. I think that's its intestines. It's that's terrible. the scariest rat I've ever seen. It's weird to hold this. It's so big. Skeleton tail. Oh God. That's totally amazing. done in there. That's amazing. Crusty the clown. We found some crusty salt. Where, where are you going? Oh, oh, it's a puff. That was like 70 years of farts that just went in there. <laughs> That's when you lay it too long, one of those coils go up your ass crack. <laughs> so next step is gonna be to get the, the second floor knocked out, get that out of the way. We got a big portion of what it was that was up there out already. A lot of the stuff we're just gonna put out to the street or out to the side of the house and fellas have been coming by and picking it up. Uh, every morning at 9 a.m. there's the same fellas here. Third floor is done. When we move down to the second floor, there's some big cabinets. Once we get that taken you out. You got some all over your shirt. 
For your pleasure. Oh, baby, this is crazy, too. Oh. <laughs> there you go. OG Wiffle Ball Bat. <laughs> the original production of Wiffle Ball Bat was two pieces. So when you see one that's one solid piece, which is what this was, when we took the tape off, we found out this isn't actually a crack, it's just a line or a separation seam. Basically, the old ones, the original production, is rare and hard to find. So this one, being that it's one of the later produced uh, Wiffle Ball Bats, it's a... Uh, not really worth anything at all. So, but if you had the older one, you'd be in about a hundred bucks, hundred fifty bucks. Yeah, that's just all gunpowder, smokeless, smoking powder. So you gotta be careful when you find that stuff. It's not just gonna explode out of nowhere, but I mean, if you had a light or you drop something that would spark on the inside of it, it, it could run the risk of of uh, going up, and then we'd have a real big issue. All the way to time. Clean money. Yeah. That rat? Uh, another one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you didn't see that. Uh, there's one over there, too. We saw that earlier. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I didn't see that. Crazy. It looks fake. Because of how real it is. Flowers? Uh, I don't know what this oh. is. Dirt or what. But this is really hard. I want to give a shout out to my two sons, Michael and Maverick. And uh, hi, Grandma, I love you. You know you want to say hi to your girl. You're one of them anyways. Yeah, I know I got those couple. <laughs> the whole bottom of it's full. A lot of drive. It probably has reloads. Yeah, a bunch of lead, lead buckshot. 20 pounds worth of lead buckshot right there. Make sure you keep all your explosives and your ammunition and your gunpowder directly next to your heating unit. <laughs> Pro tip. I'm just waiting for a real big spider to jump out. Yeah, I saw one earlier. I haven't seen any spiders yet. It's I, kind of weird. I just saw one over here. We're finishing up on day three here. Dumpster's full. This is about as much as we wanted to get done. We still have the shed left. The basement's still full with a lot of stuff. Uh, we have a uh, whole bunch of bullets still in there. A whole bunch of knickknacks and plates and... They requested that if we find any Lennox wear today that we save that and put that to the side. So that's something we're gonna start doing. This particular job that we're set up on, it was it was bid just for the hoard. It wasn't bid for decontamination or anything like that. So basically all we're doing is getting the things out, trying to keep the dust as low as we can. And if it's something that they're looking to get done, it, we can come back and we can decontaminate. All right, so it's the end of the day. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey, welcome to day four. We're getting pretty close to wrapping the job up. We only have the basement and the shed over there to do. We do have most of the house done. However, it is still dirty. We weren't here for sanitization or any sort of like rodent drop and clean up. We're here strictly for the hoarding part of it. It's not gonna look clean in there, but there is no hoard in there anymore. It's looking pretty good. Coolest thing, man. Got this. Oh! oh. <laughs> What's this? Hold on, we might have something fun. I don't know, you're the army guy, Sal, so you know what that is? Oh yeah, it's a it's phone. Yeah, it is, got some cell phones. It's kinda cool. I think it's like a military phone, back in the day. That spider on there, it's real creepy. It's a shame, that's one of the worst things about this, is saying like, old military antiques or old antiques that you are just aren't salvageable, unless you put a ton of money and time into them, and oftentimes it's not worth it, unless it's like a historical piece. Yeah, there were some mice living in this one. I'm kind of nervous. Not kind of alive. There are dead mice in there. They probably died somewhere else. That ram's head. Yeah. Yeah. Big boy. Gigantic. Well, you got to be careful sticking your hands underneath things. You never know what's under there. I don't know what type of spider that is. More lab rounds. 308, it's a monster. Yeah, obviously like to reload his own ammunition, so these are all just bullet heads. He's got a ton of them. Yeah. Saw some upstairs, they're just laying around the house. You got shells laying around the house. You take your shell, slide it in your shell holder for the proper shell, so whatever whatever it was. And you have a series of dies up here, and they'd be used to shape the cartridge, crimp it, pop the primer out, 
So you pop it in, take it out, put a new one in, boom. And once you had enough, you go into step two, you change your die to your next step, put it back in and put your rounds that you have prepared. You know, you put them in there, you seat your, your projectile in, pop it up, and then you have a, a bullet. Like, it's pretty cool. I clean that shell fan and I will, they're metal jacks, they're real ones. Yeah, that's classic, man. Those are probably so, really old. Yeah, that's, I thought they were cute, so I put them to the side. Yeah, bouncy ball. Yeah, right? Where's that at? Yeah. Probably dry rotted and gone already. Yeah, or a rat ate it. <laughs> or a rat ate it, yeah. Shut it up. <laughs> ah. Yeah, like 100%, that's where, they, that's where they all came in at. New buddies at Home Depot, they're nothing, it's nothing special. But the still months, if they want any tools that are usable, and this is very usable, you just clean the rust off, sharpen it. I'm famous. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, everybody knows bad things happen in Philadelphia, so stay tuned for the next episode. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. It's hot out. You can see all the sweat Ooh boy. and breath built up on the inside. Not fun. But it's pretty fun. Oh, it's better than inhaling rat poop. Ew. With the thermos. I mean you see them all the time, but you never see them with the thermos. So this was probably the customers uh mothers from God knows when. Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, this might be something. So we're gonna leave it for him. That might that might be something. Oh yeah, that, that part's clean. Yeah, it's definitely restorable. Yeah, it's thermos. restorable and like the, the name, the Holly Hobby name, people yeah. people like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Two ten-year-old kids walk by and are like, what are you guys doing? And I was like, it's called hoarding. There's a reason your parents told you to clean your damn room. Uh, oh, an old kazoo. Here we go. Double fisting. Uh-huh. See the maggots? Anything inside of it? Uh, 75. Happy Halloween. Oh, Betamax. Betamax. Oh, that's a Betamax Yeah, check it. Pretty cool. Does it probably work? Mm -hmm. No. That's cool. We're wrapping up for today. A lot of good work today. You know, customer seems pretty happy with it. We're gonna come back one more day, you know, just a couple people just to wrap up, make sure we got everything, double check, clean up a little bit here and there. Everywhere is done for the most part. We just gotta come back for the basement, the shed, see if we can get up in the attic. But that's it. Thanks for coming to Philly, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you next, next time. time. Watching guys don't forget to like share subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of the next episode for more information visit any of our locations